It's the tenth. It's the tenth. <coughs> it's the tenth Dynamite Gizmo podcast. Woo hoo hoo hoo! Woo 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 woo. But what's uh? Why isn't it live? Uh, because I'm not doing live streams anymore. What you say? Shifty five. Shiggity shiggity shifty five. I I figured I figured I would uh, jump off the bandwagon of doing live streams and do my own thing of uh, just recording them with no comments flashing in my face no uh, big comfy crotches ruining my day none of that <laughs> we're it's all because of the I need a better VPN for those who don't know what a VPN is, please go to www.google.com and uh, get yourself a VPN. Speaking of www, a very funny comedian, one you may be familiar with or may not be familiar with, his name is Gregory Proops. Greg Proops. Greg poops his pants. Just kidding. He probably got... I. No one has ever asked him this question. At least not from what I could have seen so far. If that made any sense. But no one has ever asked him if... When he was in school as a child... If he was ever called uh, Greg Poops. His last name is Proops. I'm trying to figure out where the time is. Is there a timer somewhere? Dum dum dum. Just give me a second here, folks. I gotta. I gotta. Okay, I'm gonna start a timer over on the big screen, over on the big old Macintosh. Here, we're gonna start a timer. The good thing about Google is uh, you can just type shit in, and it gives you big bold letters of your answer. Now, you don't have to click a link like the old days. The old days, you would type in a question. And you would have to search page after page to find your answer. And it's evolved to the point now where if you type in something in Google, you're going to get your answer in nice big bolded letters. <coughs> you type in calculator, it'll give you a calculator. You type in timer, it gives you a timer and a stopwatch. Okay? Pretty neat said the sheep so back to greg proops he brought up the www thing um if you take a look at uh the word or the the way you say www and the way that you say World Wide web if you look at the syllable count uh www has nine syllables uh, and World Wide Web has three syllables. It takes less time to say World Wide Web. But WWW is only three letters. So because of the fact that it's three letters, we our brains automatically think it's shorter. So we just say WWW. When we could have just been saying World Wide Web. It'd be so much faster. Go to worldwideweb.macaronisalad.com rather than go to www.macaronisalad.com And there'll be so much uh, commercials. You know, you got to pay for every second in a commercial. If you were to say worldwideweb.balonisalad.com Think about how much money you would save. It was a cool idea, and I had never thought about it before until Greg Proops brought it up. He's a pretty smart feller. He's a feller. <laughs> <laughs> He's a chicken seller. Teller. Maleller. Fester. Molester. Caster. Bastard. Caster. Chester. I feel like it's going to rain. Let me check the rain in my uh, in my area. And remember, in my podcast... The beginnings are kind of boring because I just like to warm up and and not jump right into things. Weather's not that 
uh, um, um, aggressive. Look at this. Precipitation. Rain, 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 rain. I love fucking rain. I love rain. And it looks like it's she looks like she's gonna rain. Yeah. So I'm not going live anymore. You're just gonna have to wait for one to be uploaded, which won't it'll be the exact same time as the live stream would have been anyway. So it's like uh it's not a big deal. Because once live stream podcasts are done, they're up on YouTube forever anyway. So that's I don't think it's nice. It's it's a uh, complete. Uh, it's com it's not <laughs> completely necessary to have to go live every time. What's wrong with just uploading? I don't think there's anything wrong. Just like the good old days, back before live was even a thing. But you gotta stay cool with the with the group. You gotta stay with it. I might go. Like, just start doing live on uh, YouTube. But I wanted to do live on Twitch. But I need that VPN. You gotta pay, like, a monthly fee for that shit. Um, baloney. Oh, well. Got my card for episode 10. That's right, it's episode 10. We're in the double digits. The Dubla Digits. I remember when I turned 10 of the years old, I said to myself, damn, I got two fucking numbers involved in my age now. What am I going to do? I'm going to run shit. That means I'm an adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm 10. Nah. We're still, uh... We're still young, wild, and free in the jungle of the podcast world. We're only 10 deep. We got 900 more to go. <clears throat> so, let's see what we got here. Experimenting. Have you ever experimented with real life while you're baked off the devil's lettuce? And what do I mean by that? Well, let's say you get a, uh, you go astronaut diving, which is secret code for eating lettuce that's not actually lettuce, and you don't eat it. Um, and then you go, let's say you go to a grocery store, and you're just walking down the aisle, and you're looking at everything <laughs> on each shelf. And you look at the end of the aisle and you see a person and you just look at them and you're like, okay, let's figure you out. You got that permanent frown on your face, but you're super polite, but you look grumpy. So first impressions are bad. So you've always been bad at first impressions, meaning you've been shitty your whole life. <laughs> I'm just wandering off right now. I'm going way too deep into this, but like, uh, I had a good example. I'm trying to, I'm trying to fumble around to find it in my brain. It's not coming to the surface as usual. People are gonna say I have dementia. Dementia, dementia. You got dementia. Experiment with real life while you're high. Just examine stuff very closely. Way closely. It pretty much just happens anyway. But sometimes you just feel paranoid. But rather than rather than focus on the paranoia, just examine what's really going on. If someone starts talking to you, put on an act. Pretend you're one of the, one of those fake people. So you're like, hey, hey Johnny, how are you? You can be like, and then you gotta be all like happy and skippy and perky up like them too. And you, you just respond and be like, hey Margaret, how's it going? 
Haven't seen you, brother! I'm a little bit on the high side. Right about now, I just dribbled a bit. So if the dialogue is a little bit slower or confusing, that's why. But don't mind me. I'm just OG. Snoop D O double G, you know what I'm saying? Be free up in DC. BCP THC got me up in the sky. Oh D R E. Drop me another one. Okay. Oh, okay, I already mentioned the ne I'm never going live again. Okay, that's the next one. Oh, monsters and lizards. Monsters and lizards? I told myself I was going to transition better rather than just say each plot on the card. So let's focus on that. Let's focus on transitioning on the next when I do the next one. So right now we're going to do monsters and liz nerds. I don't know. It's hard to transition. These are weird topics. They're also random, but I'll give it a schnot. <laughs> so monsters and lizards. I know how I can connect this to the next one. But what am I talking about when I say monsters and lizards? Well, we've got shit like the Komodo dragon. And even just iguanas. Hey! You stop that. Even just iguanas are super prehistoric, crazy animals. They used to be 1,000 million feet tall. And they used to suck on penises. They'd freeze them in the freezer. I love telling alternative facts. Learned that from Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it. I hate cords. I really, really hate them. Yeah, why did I... But Jen, yeah, monsters and lizards. I've had lizards. I like lizards. I want to get another one. I would like to get either an iguana, a chameleon, or, I don't know, something. Iguana would be cool. I want to get a big one. I've seen a big one on YouTube. The video is probably still up there. It's called uh, Mr. Wizard. I think that was the name of the iguana. Let me see. Mr. Wizard... Iguana. Yeah, baby. He's huge. We got to check this guy out. I can't hear it, though. There it is. Come on, Beezer. Come on. Look at it. Come on, Beezer. Come here. It's huge. Come here, Beezer. He's a big Come one. On, no. What's up, bro? Beezer. Oh, he's shaking his head. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your money maker. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Yeah, that would be cool to have. You could feed it mice. Or even if you had a mice infestation, he would uh, eat them. You could probably throw him into a beehive, and he wouldn't get hurt. Maybe he would. Could bees sting through his thick skin? They got a nice crusty outlayer, don't they? They're crusty, crunchy. They got like a, a shield, protective shield. Haha. Uh -huh. Iguanas are so fucking slimy. Just kidding. This one feels off today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so okay. How was I transitioning this? Lizards are well. They're from. You can find them in China. You see, if you go to Chinese restaurants, they got uh, dragons. Ow! Lizards. 
monsters. They got them surrounding the building. Chinese food is our next topic. Boom! That's the kind of transition I'm talking about. Chinese food. I had some. It's good. (laughs) (laughs) No shit. It's, uh... It's one of those things that I will never get sick of. I don't think ever. And even when people say this is bad Chinese food and I try it, it's still pretty good. Even the bad Chinese food is good Chinese food to me. I like Chinese food. Uh, Remember when people used to say, well, um, I wonder if Chinese people eat hamburgers and call it American food. Let's go get some American food. It's only 7.41. Usually I start these pod... Did I just hear a vibration? Usually I start these podcasts at 8 o'clock, which is 6 o'clock P. S T, which is not, uh, uh, uh <laughs> I can't. Damn it, I can't remember what it's called. S T D. A P S T is not an S T D. Are they called S T I S now? Sexually transmitted infection. If you have. If you have an STI, please raise your hand and show me. Show me the sexually transmitted infection that surrounds your vag. (laughs) Or, well, I don't want to see none of that shit. I'm just kidding. Uh, But uh, that is not uh, anything to do with Chinese food. But it does have something to do with not taking food off of my plate because women do that they take food off of men's plate and some guys do it guys will uh steal fries without asking and then they put a nice little smirk on their face like oh, i just stole your fry buddy <laughs> and i'm eating it <laughs> oh that pisses me off and then they go for another one. And you're like, yeah, do that a fucking again. See what happens. And then they go a third time. You take a fork and you jab it right in their goddamn eyeballs. And don't stop. Keep jabbing until they're dead. It's a primal thing. Primal people. Everyone's a primate. Everyone primes the mates. They take a mate, a primate. And then bitty big big bitty bang bang bing bi bung bung ba banged it. Bitty bang ba bung bung ba banged it. <laughs> and we're all primates. So we primal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> One of the best arguments ever made. Thanks. According to Dane Cook. Said it here first. Uh, but you know what's worse? You know yeah, okay. <laughs> primal people who can we think of as an example who do you think is a primal person I would say a football player is a primal person now is a football player allowed to smoke marijuana hell no but uh, Hannibal Burris has this great argument Burris Hannibal Burris 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 Hannibal Burris you know who he is. He has his argument that football is worse for the body and mind than weed is. So why aren't football players allowed to smoke weed, but they're allowed to play football? Because you can get severe brain damage, broken bones, uh, lots of injuries, possibly a death. Uh, or something that causes you to be severely paralyzed for life. Uh, and weed would actually help with 
injuries in terms of pain wise but other than that it wouldn't hurt you at all so it's a crazy thought to think a thought <laughs> just think about me uh, I need some agua give me some nigger agua get it it's an epidemic Nothing like some Nicaragua. Ah, there's the ding-a-ling, ding de ding ding da bing bing chingy ring ba bing bing ba bing bing Yes, I'm having a uh, Facebook conversation while I'm having a podcast. How interesting. Nope. Nope, just juice. Just, just juice, boy! Oh, buckaroo. Also, the UFC. UFC, some UFC, UFC, people in the UFC. They can uh, beat the fucking shit out of each other and possibly kill one another. Kick to the head. Punch to the neck. Karate chop throat. Kick thigh. Grab pelvis. Flip over. Twist neck. Cripple for life. But don't smoke it out weed. Don't you dare smoke it out weed, boy. Because that's cheating. That was also part of his argument. Not my argument. Hannibal Burris. Hannibal Burris. He's, he's, uh, he's not that old. But he's getting old. Uh, like Joe Rogan. I think Joe Rogan is almost 50. I feel like when you hit 50, that's when you can start saying, okay. All right, you're getting old. You're fucking getting old. Just admit it. You're halfway to 100. You're old as... A truck and a bicycle helmet. You know what I'm saying? It makes total sense. Um, how many people like old people? How many young people enjoy the sight of an old person? I saw one in the grocery store. I see him a lot in the grocery store. And they have these little push carts. Their own. They had. They bring their own shopping cart because it's a shopping cart slash walker, and they shove all their groceries in there and their purse. The women use these. The men just use the the walker only version with a tinier basket. But the old women got the like full basket slash walker. And man, are they slow. Jeez, and you try to pass them and they don't hear you or notice you. Their peripheral vision is just fucked up because they can't see you. I... I know a normal person would be able to see me in the peripheral vision, but this old grandma with her personal customized shopping cart uh, can't see me, and I'm trying to walk around her, and she keeps blocking me. <coughs> she keeps like shuffling over, and then I try to go around the other way, and then she turns around, and she's like, oh, I want some cereal as well, and goes over to the other side. And then I'm like, shit, God damn it, grandma. So I pushed her out of the way, I, pu- I pushed her down, and I uh, d- I pushed her cart over, dumped all the shit out. And I said, that's what you get for being old and blind. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. I just like to spice up stories sometimes. But everything up to that point was true. I eventually got around her, and she never even noticed that I was there or got around her. She's that old and out of it. So then as I was leaving, I had to walk down the sidewalk a little bit to get to my uh, vehicle that was parked. And there was an old, there was a, there's a bulletin board downtown where people just put flyers up or whatever. And it was with business, uh, lost child, whatever. But this, there was an old guy there and he was putting up a poster of, a lost dog. At first I thought he was just looking at the poster. 
But then he, I noticed he had like thumbtacks in his hand and he was putting the poster up. And I was like, damn, that's depressing. And then I looked over and his wife was in the car and she was crying. And I was like, ooh, this is, this is a depressing moment. This is giving me bad vibrations. <laughs> it just makes it, I just made it about me instantly. <laughs> ah! But, uh, no, I didn't do that. I didn't say that stuff. I was just like, damn, I feel bad for this old guy. He, he's missing his dog. His dog is lost. And he's trying to put this flyer up by himself while his wife's crying in the car. Maybe he doesn't even care about the dog. If, if, you know, he's probably an old farmer. Because this is a farm... Alberta's a farm friggin' province. Everyone farms. And if you're old, you're probably a farmer. So he's probably a farmer. He probably doesn't even give a shit. He probably shot the dog because he's sick of uh, cleaning up shit. And it was his wife's dog, and he just pretended like it ran away. But it kind of didn't... It didn't seem like that in the moment. It seemed like he really was sad about the dog. And so while he was putting it up, he dro- he dropped some thumbtacks and the poster was just held up with one thumbtack and he bent down. I was seeing this as I was walking towards him. So I had a lot of steps. Oops. I had a lot of steps to walk towards this old man so I could see quite a bit. A lot happened. No, 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 not really. But uh, so he drops the thumbtack, and the poster's still held up by one thumbtack. As he bends down to get the thumbtack, you can see his back is just fucking aching. <laughs> and then the poster—I don't know why I'm laughing, but it was kind of funny. But <laughs> the poster blew away. He doesn't even notice. <laughs> It, like, it blew right around the corner of the building and fucked off. And he's still trying to get this this thumbtack back up. And he picks it up, struggles to stand back up straight, looks at the bulletin board, and it, and it seemed like he forgot what he was doing. He forgot why he was there. He was just looking at the bulletin board, reading, reading some other poster, <laughs> and looking around. And then he just went back into his car. And by that time, I had already passed. So who knows if he ever put the poster up. His wife was too busy crying to even notice. So I don't know. Uh, But you know who else is old? Bob Dylan. Uh, He's going to die soon. (laughs) Probably. I went to one of his concerts... He, I went to one of his concerts with a friend. Uh, we, we were there. We were still in high school. And we got to borrow his dad's 70-something uh, Dodge Dart. It was orange, hard top, and it had... Well, it did have the original stereo in it for a little while. And then he customized it put some subs in it or just one sub maybe I don't remember but anyway we drove to Bob Dylan concert in that which was awesome and we saw Bob Dylan we were in high school so we did not smoke weed but we could smell it there um we couldn't order alcohol either because we weren't old enough so we just listened to Bob D.D. Bob Dylan that's not what he sounds like at all but uh (laughs) then we got back in the dark it was dark it was pretty dark it was probably 10 11 12 probably i don't know but it was dark we were driving home on the highway listening to probably bob dylan stopped at uh, walmart then continued back on the highway and there were five Clydesdale horses in the roads. Of course, it had the original headlights 
in the Dodge uh, Dart. So we couldn't see them till probably the last second. And I was like, whoa, 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 stop! <laughs> and he slammed on the brakes. And we were like, ah, we were pro- and we stopped just probably two inches before hitting the horses. There was five of them just standing in the road. If we would have hit them, death would have occurred. Dum, dum, dum. And also in that Dodge Dart, we had to, uh, when we were putting the subs in the thing, we had locked the keys in the trunk. The keys were in the trunk, closed the trunk. And yeah. So no spare keys. Uh, the doors were open. We could go into the thing. Couldn't start it though. And couldn't get the keys out of the trunk because you need the keys to open the trunk and they were in the trunk. There was no pop the trunk button back in the day. It was use the key to open the trunk. Don't put your keys in the trunk and close the trunk or you're fucked. So we were there till probably three or four or five. Actually, probably there till six in the morning. Just trying to figure out how to get the keys out of the trunk. When we thought we were going to leave and be able to play video games all night. But no, we had to sit there and just think of a way to get the keys out of the trunk. Eventually, we found a hole saw and cut a hole in the... We were able to pull the back seat down which revealed a piece of plywood that uh, separated the trunk from the cab. So we cut a hole in the piece of plywood, reached in and grabbed the keys, and it felt like it felt like success. It was <laughs> it was a long, boring, stressful night, and eventually we got the keys back. But he had to make a phone call. To his dad telling him we cut a hole in his in his car. <laughs> but he was totally cool with it. He understood. So that was awesome. Uh, yesterday. It was Thursday? Yeah, yesterday was Thursday. Kasim G does his podcast every Thursday. <coughs> I didn't watch it yesterday. But I watched it today. And I was thinking to myself, damn, it would be good if we... You hear that? I was saying, damn, it'd be good if we could uh, hook up a thing, you know, get something going, get a, uh, he'd be on my podcast, I'd be on he, his podcast, but that's far-fetched for me, because I'm a nobody and he's at least a somebody. He at least gets 2,000 views when I only get two, if that. But I, I'm impressed by his work. And I'm and I'm excited to see where it goes. Because I know he put some thought into it. Uh, and I think he's just a genuinely funny guy. And Peter's a really funny guy. Omar's really funny. And they always have Bath Boys, the Bath Boy comedy guys on there. And they're all funny. They're all fucking funny. You know what I'm saying? So, and who else did they have on there? Everyone who was on the show was either really hot or really funny. Or both. And Kasim is just all around awesome. Except he's he hasn't been smoking weed as much as he used to. He used to be on all kinds of Doug Benson episodes. And Peter was smoking a lot. Omar's smoking a lot. But Kasim doesn't want anything. Uh, doesn't want any part of it. So what's up with that? Holy crap, we're almost done and it's only been 32 minutes. Oh my god, I got the burpsies. Whew. I've been drinking too much poop. Uh, leaving YouTube and coming back. 
Leaving YouTube and coming back. Who does that? Kasim does that. Kasim left YouTube and now he's back. I do it all the time. I usually like leave for either a few years, come back, or one year come back. It's happened a lot. Or a few months come back. Cause I've been I've had this channel since two thousand nine, but I've been on YouTube since two thousand and seven. I've had a channel since two thousand seven. I think. Probably earlier than that. No, probably around two thousand seven. Was when I created it, and but I've been, but I used YouTube in two thousand five when it started. I still remember slightly the first, like the first week, it was available. I never watched that elephant video, the first video on YouTube ever, but I. I was just watching cat videos and little kid fails. But they weren't called fails. They weren't called anything. They weren't memes. There was no such thing as memes. I remember when memes started happening. When people started using the word memes. I remember it. Naltz, uh created a definition of meme that helped me understand what it was. And now Nolts doesn't even make videos anymore. Or if he does, nobody watches them. Like nobody. He probably, uh, I'm sh I think he makes like Instagram videos here and there, Instagram pictures here and there. But other than that, he ain't doing diddly dick 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 de dick, dick dick a thick wick, thick with it, shick with it, get sick with it. Oh yeah, Snoop Dogg. Snoop D O Double G, he put out a fucking album today called Never Left. Yeah. This is your boy, Snoop D O Double G. And you know what? It was meh. It wasn't that good. Like you see this you see this bush one right here? Bush? Bush? George Bush? No. It's called Bush, okay? Produced by Pharrell Williams. The whole album is produced by Pharrell Williams. And I was not a fan of it at all. To be honest, I didn't like a single song. I really didn't. I don't like I don't like I don't like Pharrell Williams style. I don't like any of his stuff. So I couldn't enjoy any song on the album. This never never left album. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, there's a few songs I quite enjoy. But, uh, overall, it's... Well, I mean, I shouldn't say that. It's, it's, it's... Uh, I like it. It's a step. It's a step in a good direction. I feel like... It could have been better. But... What do I know? I don't know anything. I really don't know anything. So that's it. 36 minutes. World record, bro. I need to get more guests on here. But it's hard. I could just go, uh, go out on the street and say, Hey, you homeless? You want to make two ducks? Two bucks? Come on my podcast. Give some knowledge. About being homeless. What would a homeless person say? I'm going to pretend I was homeless right now. <clears throat> Hi, my name is uh, Mr. Homeless. I've been homeless for 10 years now. I used to work at Tim Hortons. I uh, drove the delivery trucks. The big one. With the 18 wheels. That was the one I drove. I didn't have a big old beard. I had a mustache, and I liked the, the the Boston cream donut. And I had I didn't drink coffee. I only drank um, 
what do they call it? Hot chocolates. That's what I drank, a small one. But sometimes I'd get freaky and get a large one. But anyway, one day, back in uh, 1977, nope, that's not the right date, 1999, I uh, grabbed myself a sandwich from the rack at a Tim Hortons. Right when they started bringing out sandwiches, that was the first time they started bringing out sandwiches. I grabbed one. I didn't pay for, I didn't pay for her, and uh, the managers took me aside and they said, uh, "Listen, there, boy, you're fired. We can't have you stealing sandwiches." And I said, "Fuck you. I don't need you." And I left. I, I threw the keys on the table. I grabbed another uh, sandwich. Grab a Boston cream, grab the hot chocolate, the largest one I could get, and I left. That was the last decent meal I've ever had. I've been homeless ever since. That's the story of me.